ATACSEQ stands for assay for transposers accessible chromatin with high throughput sequencing. It is a technique used in molecular biology to study chromatin accessibility. The technique was first described in 2013 as an alternative a complementary method to NASE SEQ sequencing of micrococcal nuclease sensitive sites. Fair SEQ and Danae's SEQ. It aims to identify accessible DNA regions, equivalent to Danae's I hypersensitive sites. Description. The key part of the ATAC SEQ procedure is the action of the transposes Tennessee 5 on the genomic DNA of the sample. Transposes as are enzymes catalyzing the movement of transposons to other parts in the genome. While naturally occurring transposes as have a low level of activity, ATAC SEQ employs a mutated hyperactive transposes. The high activity allows for highly efficient cutting of exposed DNA and simultaneous ligation of specific sequences, called adapters. Adapter ligated DNA fragments are then isolated amplified by PCR and used for next-generation sequencing. See external reference for explanatory image. Usage and computational analysis. Transposons are believed to incorporate preferentially into genomic regions free of nucleosomes. Nucleosome-free regions, or stretches of exposed DNA in general. Thus enrichment of sequences from certain loci in the genome indicates absence of DNA binding proteins for nucleosome in the region. An ATAC SEQ experiment will typically produce millions of next-generation sequencing reads that can be successfully mapped on the reference genome. After elimination of duplicates, each sequencing read points to a position on the genome where one transposition or cutting event took place during the experiment. One can then assign a cut count for each genomic position and create a signal with base pair resolution. Regions of the genome where DNA was accessible during the experiment will contain significantly more sequencing reads since that is where the transposers preferentially acts and form peaks in the ATAC SEQ signal that are detectable with peak calling tools. These regions can be further categorized into the various regulatory element types, promoters, enhancers, insulators, etc., by taking into account further information like their distance from a transcription start site or data from other experiments inside the regions where the ATAC SEQ signal is enriched. One can also observe subregions with depleted signal. These subregions, typically only a few base pairs long, are considered to be footprints of DNA binding proteins. These proteins will protect the DNA strand from transposes cleavage and will consequently cause a depletion in the signal. An ATAC SEQ experiment can also be used to infer nucleosome positions. Advantages The advantages of ATAC SEQ include low requirements on the amount of the biological sample. 50,000 cells are sufficient for this technique as opposed to others like NAS SEQ or DNAs SEQ that require at least 1,000-fold more material. Speed. The whole protocol requires three hours in total. External source. ATAC SEQ probes open chromatin state. Figure. ATAC SEQ. Fast and sensitive epigenomic profiling. Too good to be true. What can next error do for you?